And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we do get into today's video, as always, make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Newcastle United content. So we've got a lot to discuss in today's video. A lot's happened around the club in the last 24 hours, a lot I want to discuss. Uh, but before I do get into the main story, as which you can tell is provided by Fabrizio Romano, as there is a done deal, um, I do want to discuss a potential gem um, emerging from Newcastle's academy that we could see feature throughout this season. People are calling him maybe the new Lewis Miley for this campaign. So Eddie Howe has opened a new bag of tricks at Newcastle United. An under-the-radar signing from last year could come to the fore over the coming campaign. So your Newcastle United supporters in Japan got an exciting glimpse of talented 17-year-old Trevin Sanusi late in Wednesday's convincing 4-1 win over Urara Red Diamonds in Japan. Sanusi signed from Birmingham City, his hometown club, last year amid report interest from Manchester City, Manchester United, Liverpool, Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal. So a lot of teams were interested in this guy from Birmingham City. Newcastle got there first and he had even been tipped to be the new uh, Jude Bellingham and he became Birmingham's youngest ever player before he joined Newcastle, age 16, to, to play a game for them as well. So, the versatile forward who can play across the front line is quick and direct, and he caught the eye playing for United's under-21 team last season. Sanusi replaced Harvey Barnes against Urara in the 79th minute, and the forward made an impression on Howe as he ran at the team's J-League opposition as Newcastle pushed for a fourth goal, or pushed for a fifth goal, sorry. He's definitely got talent, said Howe, who also fielded Sanusi off the bench in the club's 2-0 win over Hull City last weekend. Sanusi, who turned professional this summer, could also feature against Yokohama F. Marinos in Tokyo tomorrow, before the squad returns to Tyneside for the next stage of their pre-season campaign. He's very clever with the ball, said Howe. He's got loads of tricks in his bag that he can pull out from time to time. I'm excited by him. I think he's got the basics for a really good framework to build from. He's going to be up to us and for him to develop those skills and talents. Howe pitched 17-year-old Lewis Marley in last season and the midfielder starred for the club at home and abroad. So this is what I'm saying, guys. This guy here, 17 years old, he could become, he could get some first team minutes throughout the campaign across the Premier League and the cut competitions and stuff like that. Um, of course, Sanusu himself is an England under-17 international. But he has work to do, of course, to prepare himself for the physicality of the Premier League football if he is to follow in Marley's footsteps, according to Howe. Certainly, the Premier League is a totally different beast physically, and I think that's something he's going to have to continue to work on, said Howe. For someone so young, I think he's made a good impression. So, it's worth mentioning Sanusu did miss out a place in England's under-17 squad for the summer's European Championship finals in Cyprus because of an injury. But this guy could be a very good talent for us for many, many years to come. I'm very excited about this. I like seeing young players come from the academy and making an impression on our first-team coach, Eddie Howe, and then maybe be in the back of his mind a little bit to put him into the, some, some games, give him some minutes throughout the campaign. So we'll see how Sanusi does for the rest of the season. But a player that could be joining Newcastle, a brand new fresh signing, um, is the man we mentioned recently, uh, well, we mentioned him a few days ago, actually, from Sheffield United. This is a big transfer story here. It is confirmed by Fabrizio Romano. So William Osulu to Newcastle, here we go. Dealing plays a £10 million fee plus £5 million add-ons for 20 year old striker joining from Sheffield United. Final details being sorted, then we will sign all documents. So William Osula, the striker from Sheffield United, is on his way to Newcastle United. We spoke about this potential transfer a few days ago. Very, very happy with this bit of business from Newcastle. £10 million is an absolute bargain, plus £5 million in add-ons for a 20-year-old striker with lots and lots of promise. Again, great business by the club here. It's good to see us dipping our hands in our pockets a little bit, signing some players. Of course, not the most glamorous signing in the world, but this guy could be very good for us for years to come. And as well, um, he's a good backup option to Isaac and Wilson. Could this maybe pave the way for Wilson's exit at Newcastle? We'll have to find out in the next few days, of course. There's ongoing speculation about him, him and his future. Will he leave the club? Will he stay? Of course, we spoke yesterday. Eddie Howe wants to keep hold of Wilson. He thinks he's a very good player. Um, but then Paul Mitchell and other backroom staff members think actually Callum Wilson should go because he's quite injury prone and he's not up to the standards. He can't keep up the standards throughout the season due to his injuries. He's constantly in and out of the team. Um, but could William Usula be his replacement? We'll have to find out in the next few days. But regardless of that Callum Wilson situation, I am very, very happy with this signing. It's quality and depth is what we need. We need another striker at the club. 
And I think this guy as well, he's not the finished product, of course. He's 20 years old. Um, he's come from Sheffield United. He's not done great in first-team football just yet. Great in the academy levels. But this guy, under the right management, Eddie Howe, in the right team, the right um, environment, he could be very, very good. And I think this is the perfect move for him. I think he knows that as well. I think he knows what he can achieve at the club. He knows the vision at the club. And I think this is a perfect, perfect move for William Asula. So very, very happy with this one. It's not confirmed by the club yet, but it is a done deal. All uh, documents will be signed shortly. He'll do his medical at Newcastle and he'll be a new Newcastle player. So I put done deal on the title because it is here we go by Fabrizio Romano. They are the famous three words that means the transfer is very much on. Of course, anything can happen in football. But as things stand right now, this is a done deal. So very, very happy with that bit of business from the club. Now, it's not kind of, that's basically it from today's, in terms of today's stories, guys. Of course, we've got um, a, kind of a friendly coming up soon against Yokohama F. Marinos. Um, so I suppose let me know your score predictions for that game. Hopefully we can see some more players coming in, um, more youngsters giving minutes um, and more players getting their fitness levels up a little bit as well. Uh, with regards to William Asula, he won't be fit. He won't be ready ready for that game. Of course, he will probably just go straight to um, Benton, and uh, that'll be it. Then he won't come to uh, Japan at all because it's too late in preseason now for him to, to him to fly out there. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts with regards to that transfer. Are you happy with the signing of William Usula? I personally think it's a very good bit of business from the club. Um, I, we spoke about it a few days ago that there was interest there. Very surprised how quickly this has moved as well. And it's also worth mentioning as well, <laughs> Eddie Howe said that there was no uh, deals in the works. Um, and I seen a comment yesterday actually on the video about Kieran Trippier uh, when I mentioned that what he said when he said that. And he said, well, he said the same thing when Harvey Barnes was in the next, do, next, door, uh, next room waiting to sign for Newcastle. So Eddie Howe's keeping his cards close to his chest, of course, when he's, in, when he's doing his press conferences. So don't believe everything he says. He said before the friendly against Ura Red Diamonds, there's no transfer deals in the making. Fast forward like four days and here we are. We've got a deal uh, nearly completed here for William Asula. So that's how quickly football happens and that's how quick transfers happen in the transfer window. Uh, whether or not he knew about the transfer happening, probably did know, but just kept his cards close to his chest. Um, so yeah, very, very funny there from Eddie Howe. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that transfer as a whole. Let me know your thoughts on... Um, Everything else we discussed in today's video, the young 17-year-old, do you think he could be a good player for us for the future? Let me know down below. That does bring us to the end of today's video, guys. As always, make sure you do drop a like on this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more Newcastle United content because it will be a very, very busy couple of weeks now as the transfer window concludes. But yeah, drop a like, subscribe. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.